Hi, my name is Brent Sylvia. Welcome to my warehouse. I was born in New Bedford, Massachusetts. The story of Moby Dick, created by Herman Melville, sparked a, um, an understanding in storytelling and narrative uh, in the city of New Bedford, which had its ups and definitely had its downs. So for myself, I've been inspired to create a close to scale 35 to 40 foot sperm whale skeleton, created bone for bone, uh, crafted by myself, and just carving away, carving away. But I'm going to need some help here. I'm going to need about 8 to 12 puppeteers and money to breathe life into this. I just recently quit maybe that, <laughs> working for Disney World in Florida many, many years as a puppeteer there. I learned a lot about animation. What does it take to create an animated object from an inanimated object, which is basically what, what we're doing here. So, for the orchestrating properly, the dynamics in performing this thing, a kind of kinetic life and animation to this inanimate object. It's already designed, the engineering has already happened, and so using natural materials like this, we will create an illusion of flight. That flight will happen right down uh, Union Street in New Bedford, July 5th. It's for the Cape Verdean Day Parade. Um, and it will go right down Union Street. This is going to be the first kind of puppetry performance and this many people. It's a very exciting opportunity. I coined the phrase, the Spirit of Ishmael, for the title of this because of the story of Moby Dick, a godlike sperm whale that was probably about 90 feet long, maybe even larger. Uh, a city that has so much potential because of these people uh, just constantly standing up to the trials that may come upon them. So therefore, for me, this symbolizes the spirit of Ishmael, the one and only survivor of, in the tale, Moby Dick, who was spared by the whale to continue in telling the tale, reincarnating that spirit as the spirit of the bedroom. I just wanted to mention the heart of the whale, which symbolizes the spirit of New Bedford or the spirit of Ishmael. This heart is made with a material, uh, silver organza. Denise Sokolsky was the one who I got this idea from, and I gotta give her a lot of credit for coming up with this, because when it lights up from the inside, you can see it, and it just makes it so much more brilliant. Myself and uh, Joseph Puppy White from Mass Art, we worked on this heart for a long time to get it to beat in a way through the fiber optics that are inside. So with this project, we're hoping to inspire people that there are artists here in the city of New Bedford who do want to work with community and make it a better place. Once that whale starts moving its way down the street, swimming in the air, it hopefully will astonish people to the point where they will lift their heads up a little higher around here and, you know, and give some people some inspiration who have lived there their whole lives and kind of taken the whole city and all its history for granted.